All Subaru Forester L models have Subaru Starlink for hands-free connections. Touring models feature EyeSight Driver Assist technology as standard. All Forester trim lines feature Subaru Starlink multimedia systems that provide hands-free connectivity and entertainment services. The Forester 2.5i base model features the Starlink 6.2 inches multimedia system with a 6.2 inch single touch gesture display and the premium, limited and touring trims have a standard Starlink 7.0 inches multimedia plus system with a high resolution 7 inch LCD screen, Bluetooth hands free SMS text messaging, dual USB ports and adds Sirius XM All Access Radio and Sirius XM Travel Link. The optional Starlink 7.0 inches multimedia navigation system features voice activated controls and comes with 3 years of complimentary map updates as well as a 3 year subscription to Sirius XM Traffic and Sirius XM Travel Link along with 4 months of Sirius XM All Access audio service. Two Subaru Starlink Connected Services packages are available for 7.0 inches Multimedia Plus system and 7.0 inches Multimedia Navigation system and are among the most affordable in the industry. The Starlink Safety Plus package, which is complimentary for the first year and $99 per year after that, includes SOS Emergency Assistance, Enhanced Roadside Assistance, Automatic Collision Notification, maintenance notifications, monthly vehicle health report and diagnostic alerts. For even greater peace of mind, the Starlink Safety Plus and Security Plus package adds stolen vehicle recovery service, vehicle security alarm notification, remote lock unlock, remote horn and lights and remote vehicle locator. How EyeSight works EyeSight acts as a second pair of eyes for the driver and depending on the vehicle's speed, can completely avoid and significantly reduce the severity of accidents at high speed. With safety one of the main objectives, EyeSight was also developed to lower carbon emissions by reducing incident congestion and subsequently lower the economic effects of sitting in traffic. EyeSight has two stereo cameras, mounted on each side of the rear view mirror, and they use image recognition to capture three-dimensional color images with clinical precisions. The technology can distinguish vehicles, motorbikes, bicycles, pedestrians, lane markings and road furniture and can differentiate between these and determine the general traffic conditions. With an emphasis on real-world tests and evaluations, EyeSight has been developed to correspond exclusively to the individual country's traffic conditions. Limited trim upgrades to silver metallic with gloss black finish center dash panel trim and leather wrapped steering wheel and shift lever handle. Perforated leather trimmed upholstery and a 10-way power driver's seat with power lumbar support are also included with this trim level. Blind spot detection with lane change assist and rear cross traffic alert are standard features on the Limited along with welcome lighting. EyeSight equipped models include high beam assist, LED steering responsive headlights, automatic low and high beam heights adjustment and reverse auto braking. A power rear gate with auto close and height memory is standard on the Limited. The Institute for Traffic Accident Research and Data Analysis in Japan produced a study of Subaru vehicles involved in accidents between 2010 and 2014. It found that there were 61% fewer accidents involving EyeSight-equipped cars compared to those without. Globally, the milestone of 1 million EyeSight-equipped vehicles on the road was hit back in 2016. The 2018 Forester 2.5i Premium includes a panoramic power moonroof, 17-inch alloy wheels, X-Mode with hill descent control on CVT models, automatic HVAC controls, body color rear roof spoiler and a 10-way power driver's seat. A power rear gate with auto close and height memory is available on Premium Foresters equipped with EyeSight. 
EyeSight will be standard equipment on all Forrester XE Lanartronic and XE Premium Lanartronic models from October and will also be equipped with a Black Shark fin antenna and DAB radio. The performance-oriented Subaru Forester XT fended off all competitors to take first place on day one of the Sunratia Safari Rally in Australia. Keep in mind this is a near-stock version of Subaru's Forester XT model. The 2.0-liter Turbo Forester was lined up against some stiff competition of Dakar-style modified trucks and off-road buggies. The Forester XT was leading the competition for two days and day three of the Sunratia Safari Rally was grueling to say the least. It started with a 113km stage from Poonkiri heading east to the northern edge of Mularulia Lake. The rally vehicle then took a 130km loop around the lake, followed by a 100km westward stage back to Poonkiri, finishing with a short 46km Tarkula stage on the trip back to Meldura. The Subaru team of Rob Herge and Steve Wisby from Maximum Motorsport put in solid results throughout the day, banking strong times against the larger, faster, trucks in conditions that they say didn't really suit the Subaru Forester. Things were looking good as the Maximum Motorsport Forester was in the outright lead, and the team started the final stage with an 8-minute lead. Although they led for the most of the day, Herge and Hill and the Forester were left a little deflated when the near-production all-wheel-drive vehicle suffered an engine failure just 3 kms from the end of the final stage. The 2.0-liter turbo boxer engine in this small SUV had already completed two Australasian safaris without a rebuild. Rob commented, it's disappointing to have to retire with an 8-minute lead. But considering we were matching times with Purse House, Oldholm and Riley, it's really impressive. The grueling Sunratia Safari Rally was a new test for the team and for the Forester. They wanted to see if the SUV could be competitive against the Dakar-style trucks and buggies. Rob says, I've been hugely impressed by the Forester. We highlighted just how competitive the near-standard SUV can be. The Forester has been a fan favorite of off-road enthusiasts for decades. Subaru's sporty version of their SUV, the Forester XT, took on the grueling Australian terrain and almost won. It shows series off-roaders how rugged the small SUV really is in the most grueling terrain on the planet. Toyota's new 2018 RAV4 Adventure is a special trim with one key difference from the rest of the RAV4 line. It rides higher and has more ground clearance. Apart from those two mechanical changes, the RAV4 Adventure is strictly an appearance package. Toyota does give the RAV4 Adventure 18 inches wheels with 55 series low profile rubber and somehow comes to the conclusion that makes this RAV4 ready to play in the dirt. Taller lower profile tires do exactly the opposite. The popular crossover with the most ground clearance in this class is the Subaru Forester. Its 8.7 inches of ground clearance still top the 6.5 inches that the RAV4 Adventure now has, up from the conventional RAV4's 6.1 inches. The RAV4 Adventure is seen by Toyota as between its SE and XLE trims. The new AWD price per 2018 is $30,495 including the heated seats in the cold weather package. We priced out the 2018 Subaru Forester 2.5i Premium, AWD and Automatic, the same way the RAV4 comes. To the base vehicle, we added the all-weather package and the EyeSight Driver Assist package that most closely matched the RAV4's standard package. Both selections also include rear cross-traffic and blind spot detection. The Forester priced out at $28,805. Subaru does offer 18-inch wheels for the 2.5i Premium in its Black Edition package, but the package conflicts with the more important EyeSight packages. Given that more sidewall is always better off-road, the smaller 17-inch diameter wheels of the Forester are actually an advantage in this comparison of adventure-oriented crossovers. 
Our conclusion is that the Forester offers more off-road preparation than does the RAV4 Adventure at a slightly lower price point.